Hi, I'm Wanda from Melinda Craft and today I'm going to show you how to make these really quick and easy origami bags. They make great market bags and they make great gifts and you can make them from just about anything. I've made this one here uh, out of quilting material and this is out of a canvas or um, furnishing fabric. So let's get on and show you how to do this. So what you need are two pieces of fabric that measure exactly the same. So what I've done for my bag that I'm going to make for you today is cut two pieces that measure 19 inches across and 56 inches in length. Now you take your two pieces of fabric once you've cut them and you lay them right sides together. And what we're going to do is we're going to sew all the way around and we're going to leave a four inch, about a four inch opening at this end here to turn this, the fabric through. So now I've sewn around the outside of my bag with a quarter inch seam and you can see that here and you can see that I've used cream on one side and I've used the black on the other. Now I've sewn all the way around and I've left the opening at the top here. So that's to turn the bag through. Here we go, you can see that there. Alright, so let's get started turning it through. Okay, so once I've pushed, turned it through, I'll push the corners out, don't have to worry too much about them, and then I'll give it all a nice press. So I've given it a good press, and I've top stitched all the way around with about an eighth of an inch, and that's going to catch in that opening at the end, and it's also going to give our handles a nice finished look when we put this bag together. So now it's time to fold our bag. Now this can be a little bit tricky, so if you get lost, don't worry about it. We'll have photos and step-by-step -step instructions over on the website, and the link will be in the description below. All right, so what we want to do is we want to have the piece of fabric that we want on the outside of our bag facing upwards. Now I'm just going to pick up this corner with my thumb and forefinger, bring this corner here over, so that this end forms a triangle. All right, so. Just make sure that that's, those edges meet up nicely. Okay, so we have one triangle at one end of our fabric. So now we go down to the other end and we're going to fold the next triangle in the opposite direction. So this time I'm going to bring the bottom piece up and lay that along here. All right, so there we are. So we have two triangles. Now what you need to do, you can see here now that you have a square in the middle, you're just going to eyeball it in, along here that you have a um, diagonal line. And we're going to bring our first triangle up and we're just going to take it right over and we'll just twist it around there so that it lies along the edge of the set end here, this smaller triangle. So you can see I have a large triangle now and I have a small triangle. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the edges, you can see that's got a little bit of a fold there but that's okay because we're going to be sewing that down and I'm going to pin all the way along here just to where those two pieces meet. So I'll do that now. Alright so you can see now that I've pinned that uh, those two pieces together and now I'm going to turn the bag over and do the same thing again. Now just flip it over and don't worry too much about where things are at this stage as long as you have these two edges matching and then what we're going to do is we're going to start pinning this one. So take your two edges, pop in a pin And we're going to pin all the way down. Now just be careful when you're pinning that you don't grab part of the bag that's lying uh, underneath. It's very easy to do. Okay, so I'm just going to pin all the way along there, matching those edges up. Alright, so now that we've got everything pinned, we're ready to go and sew these together with a quarter inch seam. So now I've sewn my seams with a quarter inch seam and you can see here that I've, I've actually backstitched both at the beginning and the end and I've done that on both sides. So there's the other side as well. So you can skip the next step if you wish but what I'm going to do is I'm going to box the corners. Now to do that we're going to work with our 
our seam so I'll take my seam here and what I just want to do is line that seam lay it flat on the uh, cutting board but I also want to make sure that the bag sits flat and so that it forms a nice right angle on the table okay so I'm just flatten it all out okay now so we lay our seam down and we've got this sort of a, an imaginary fold at the end here. Now I'm going to measure up four inches. So one, two, three, four. And I'm going to put a line there. And I'm coming across here. One, two, three, four. And I'll put a line there. And I'm going to draw a diagonal line. And this is going to be my stitching line. So what I'll do is I will sew along here and I'll back stitch at either end. Now I'll do exactly the same on the other seam line. I'll lay it flat and lay the material. Here we go. Do the same thing again. Lay it flat on the table. Form it up and draw my lines. So I've sewn my box corner and there's the flap there. And what I've done is I've back stitched at either end of that, that line. And now I'm going to trim it. Now I'm just going to just a little over a quarter of an inch from that seam line so I'm going to line my ruler up just over that mark it's not critical and I'm going to trim that piece off okay now you can surge along that seam line you can zigzag across which is what I'll probably do or you can just leave it as it is it's on the inside of the bag so it doesn't really matter so now that the corners are done, I can turn my bag through. That's simple enough to do because there's plenty of open space. Let's give it a, the corners a bit of a push through. Okay, so it's coming together nicely. There we go. And the next thing we want to do is our handles. Now what we're going to do first is take a piece of material. So a piece of contrasting material is nice. And uh, this piece measures 7 inches by 4 inches. And I'm just ironed over, I've just ironed over a quarter of an inch on either end. You can see that there. And I'm going to top stitch that. And I'll top stitch it at about an eighth of an inch. And once I've done that, I will fold it in right sides together. And I'll sew along here with a quarter inch seam. So as you can see, I've stitched down the two ends. And I've stitched along here at a quarter of an inch. And I'm just going to turn that through because it's made a tube. I'm just going to turn that tube through. All right, so we've got the tube turned through. And now what we're going to do is we're going to place that onto one of our handles. So we just take one handle and we just pop that, gather it up. And just pop that through. If you can see that, then okay. And at this stage, it doesn't matter how far down it goes because we need a bit of space here. Because what we're going to do now is we're going to take both our handles and we're going to overlap them like that. And this is a big bag, so I want to go over about an inch and a half even an inch and three quarters and I'm going to make a sew a square on here so I'll come up here around down and back and I might even go around twice and then I'll just do a square a, a diagonal line so there's a cross in that square so I'll go and do that and then I'll come back and show you exactly what I meant so now I've sewn the handles together with the square and the cross all I need to do is bring this piece of fabric back over now just turn it so that that seam line is on the underneath part because you don't want that showing on the top. And that's just going to cover that nicely. And there we are. Our bag is finished. So if you've enjoyed this tutorial, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Now you can find the written instructions with photos over on alandacraft.com and don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Pinterest.